Kyle Shanahan has another opportunity to join that illustrious group and say that he is a Super Bowl winning coach. He's been, we all know, he's been as an assistant coach. He's been as a head coach, but he hasn't gotten it done. And he's facing someone that it's almost like looking in a mirror. And I've heard Niner fans say that they pray that Kyle Shanahan does not end up being their franchise's Andy Reid. Wow. Right? Andy yeah. Reid went to five NFC championships, right. one Super Bowl appearance, did not win one, sure leaves, gets the future GOAT quarterback, and now it's basically the yeah. Kansas City Invitational. It sure is. Yeah. <laughs> so Kyle Shanahan, when you look at everything he's done for this Niners organization, yes. let's not forget September, Jed York, extends John Lynch right. and extends Kyle Shanahan when neither of their contracts were up. Right. They just extended. He just extended yeah. it because he, he feels good about mood. it. He was in a because he felt really good about Kyle Shanahan yeah. and about what this team has done. And being a contender every season yeah. is really good for business. There are teams that can win a Super Bowl, fall off a cliff, yeah. right? They make deep playoff runs when healthy every single yep. season. Yep. But Kyle Shanahan, with everything that you got, I don't care what people say about Brock Purdy. He's playing at an MVP level right now. I, we don't know if that's who he is, right. but that's fact, fact. how he's playing right now. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Your roster, yeah, they're missing Hufunga, but they've been missing Hufunga. Your roster is about as healthy as a Super Bowl roster yeah. can be. The Chiefs just lost another guy, right? You really haven't lost too many guys throughout the course of the season, you got the quarterback, you got the roster, you got the momentum. Yep. The Chiefs are the weakest that they've been. If not now, then when? There there is no when at that point. I mean, it's it's this is this is it. Man. Not yeah. that they won't be back, but just like right. it's never you're never gonna be as confident mm -hmm. as you are this year because of everything you laid out. The health, I mean, usually health is the hardest part, is mm -hmm. getting to the to finally getting to the Super Bowl. And then by then a lot of teams are Ugh, even, you know, pretty much like what the Niners dealt with with Debo last guess, week. Yeah, you that's avoided usually, the Debo yeah, thing. That's usually what teams deal with in the Super Bowl, where it's like, you know, you speak of Andy Reid in that Super Bowl he went to. If I'm not mistaken, T.O. had like a – didn't he have a broken ankle? He had something yeah, crazy something. where he played through that. And, you know, that's, that's a lot of the times how the Super Bowl goes is you're not healthy. You're just – you're going to play because it's the last game of the season and whatever you got, you're going to give. And that's not the case with the Niners. And then that's just talking about them. Like, like we've mentioned countless times on the other side, the chiefs. Yeah, they're here, but this is not the same chiefs that you played last time you were in the super bowl. This is not the same chiefs as last year when they were in the super bowl. This is by far uh, offensively at least, which is where, you know, their bread is buttered there. This is about as, as, little danger as they have presented in the Mahomes era. And you got to take advantage of that. The same way we were talking about how Lamar had to take advantage mm -hmm. of, of the opportunity in front of him. That applies tenfold for the Niners, where the Eagles had a down year and were eliminated in the first round. Cowboys had an up and down year eliminated. They didn't even have to deal with the the who was perceived as the biggest uh, um, you know, the biggest opponents in their path. And yeah, the Lions presented a good challenge for them. They were missing guys on their line. Absolutely. Yeah, they weren't 100% healthy. So it's all been laid out for the Niners. It's hard enough to even get here, but you're in this position and you're healthy and, and you're the better team. You are. You're the better team. You got to take care of business. And uh, yeah, if you're not going to get it done this year, I'm sorry, you can't tell me next year. The Niners can go... 15 and one in the regular, whatever, 16 mm -hmm. and one in the regular season next year. I, I, it's all going to, every, every Trump card is going to be, eh, yeah, you guys were good last year too. And right. you didn't get it done. This so is until the year. you get it done, right. Nobody's going to believe you after this. Yeah. And the one team that everybody is worried about or was worried about from the Niners side of things, <laughs> the Ravens, they couldn't get it they done. Show up. They didn't hold up their end of the bargain, and they're done. Yep. Okay, so that was the one team you thought, all right, well, we've seen this, and it didn't look great. Yeah. You didn't get to face. You played the Chiefs last season, but that was when – that was still Jimmy G. You had just got Chris, – Christian yeah. Christian McCaffrey arrived on a plane and went straight to the game, it right. felt like, and they just threw him in <laughs> That's there. That's right. I forgot and, about and, that. You know, that was a bad yeah, loss, that but terrible. that was before right. the Brock Purdy era. That's what say, we're that in. Was Jimmy G, right? Yes, yeah. that, that is before the Brock Purdy era, so – it, it's got to happen now. This guy has seen, this guy has seen his 
his dad win. He's seen his daddy win. Right. He's seen his peers win. He's seen dudes win that he's probably feeling like, I mean, I'm he's better also, than. Yeah, he's also lost in front of his face. Like, he's had to watch the game slip mm-hmm. away from him in the worst way. Like, he's been through it all. Yeah. There's nothing else, like, hopefully nothing else, that Kyle Shanahan needs to experience when it comes to that game to where he, he should be prepped as well because – as much as this is about the Niners as a whole and Brock Purdy and and the story arc being complete, a lot of this narrative that's going to come out of the Super Bowl is going to be about Kyle Shanahan. Mm -hmm. Whether they win or lose, I think Kyle Shanahan is probably going to be one of the first things people talk about uh, when it comes to the result of this Super Bowl because it's either going to be, okay, here's this guy, this prodigal son Mm -hmm. who, who, you know, drew up this revolutionary offense and has had great success, finally gets a Super Bowl, how many more is he going to get? Or it's going to be much the Andy Reid story of, hey, this guy draws up some great plays, but, you know, when it comes to the big dance, he, he might overthink himself and, you know, he, he he just can't get it done. And, you know, I definitely think that, you know, Kyle probably understands that as well. He probably understands just as much as – just as well as anybody yeah. that – it is, this is a lot a lot on his shoulders here. The NFC was down all season. Okay, we discussed the quarterbacks that were left in yep. the NFC playoffs. <laughs> you have Brock Purdy, yeah. Baker Mayfield, right. Jared Goff, Jordan Love. And it's not going to get much, much cleaner than that. Yeah. And you're dealing with a Chiefs team that has been down all season. Mahomes has taken three Advils probably after every game <laughs> from carrying them. His back probably hurts. And if you look at... If you look at the the landscape of how they did get there, and nope, not to take anything away from anybody, a Packers team, one of the youngest teams in the history of the NFL playoffs, an yeah. upstart Lions team, it is just laid out for you, yeah. and it's just not going to be laid out any any better. In a it's weird not. way, too, to to inverse that, look at the Chiefs. Look at the path the Chiefs took to get here. Yeah, they they answered every question. They they took down really all the top competitors. They took down the Dolphins, mm-hmm. then they took down the Bills, yeah. and then they took down the Ravens. So as we say, this is the most down Chiefs team we've ever seen. That's and true. They're down bad, and they don't have the receiving talent. It hasn't mattered. They've beaten all of the best teams in their conference. Every single question. I mean, it's it'd be like the equivalent of the Niners having to go through the Cowboys and then the Eagles to get here. I think it would have been, uh, and that's not even including, yeah, they had to play a by, uh, a, uh, a, uh, a wild card week on top of that. So as much as we say the Chiefs are down and they're not the team they were last year, their play has not shown that. Well, they're definitely going to be confident because of that. But, yeah, you yeah. look, the Eagles were leaking oil all season Absolutely. long. Yeah. The Cowboys, I truly thought it was going to be the Cowboys. You yeah. had to convince – to at least give them a challenge. Sure. The Cowboys tricked that off. People had to convince themselves that the Rams this is how yes, this is how exactly. good the Niners have been. Right. We tried to convince ourselves that right. the Rams were their biggest competition. The actually. biggest competition and the Rams didn't even win the first game. Yeah. Okay. They, we had we convinced ourselves that the Rams yeah. were the dark horse to 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 do battle with the Niners and they couldn't even get out of the wild card. 916-319-1140. All guests and callers join us from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline. Also, like Honda, your one stop. Honda shop. Let's get out to Steven who wants to be a part of the conversation. What's up, Steven? 